Welcome back to another video, everybody. And we're gonna have a look at the complete guide to dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles by Chris McNabb, consultant professor Michael Benton. So this is a, quite a large book and quite attractive as well. That's a really nice cover we got there inside. The complete guide to dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles. Firstly, no copyright attended. All artwork belonged to their owners. And that's a lovely Cretaceous scene right there. And this one's from 2006, I believe. Yeah, 2006. And that looks like the Permian period there. Really nice book. So I did find this thrifting a few months ago. And we just get like, you know, our basic information about, you know, before animals, began you know from the beginnings and and here we are with the oceans in the ocean so before life emerged on land so obviously it started in the seas and we've got some classic um, invertebrates here some of the earliest um, Fossils. So this is a book catered to older children, but it's structured in a very attractive way for kids. I would have actually loved this book as a kid. because the layout is quite good and the artwork is good and there's a lot of um, species in this book. Like some I've never heard of before, like Elingenia. Grascutosaurus. Really like the artwork among the two pages, really nice. And they've got a wide range of species and I, as a kid as well, even to, as an adult, I do like how they compare roughly how big these animals were compared to a human. Here's my favorite, Dimetrodon. Yeah, there's a lot of species that I never knew that existed going through this. It's like this can mirai Emira, can Emira. I like how the creatures are all kind of grouped kind of like their family groups. And this is a nice scene as well. Yeah, comment you know, if you read this book. And that works pretty nice too as well. Australia, the giant iguanodon, the giant lizard, or Komodo dragon, but well, we call them ig iguanas, obviously in Australia. So 
We've got turtles now. I just like how everything's kind of grouped together. Like I do. I remember that. That's in a lot of the vintage books. Mosasaurus. It also shows roughly where they were found, the fossils. When I first picked this book up, I thought it was just like another generic, you know, dinosaur um, compared to no human. Put a little bit of information and so forth, like a lot of these books do in common like they have in common especially a lot of the books from the 90s and these early 2000s but what i like about this book how it's grouping together and just a lot of different species so a very nice book And again, for something like 2006, okay, nearly 20 years old, it does have a lot of um, diversity with the species. Like, I, was kind of, I was impressed with this. So this, this is a great children's book. I'm an adult, but I'm enjoying it as well. Obviously, there's not a lot of information there, but still, you know, if you, someone who's reading this book, just say like a, you know, um, young, like a child, teenager, whatever, you can just, you know, Google the name and, you know, it gives you the basic information. So obviously, Professor Michael Benton, he's, he's published a lot of books as well. So I guess this is why this book is um, designed in a really nice way. So, Theropods now. Obviously, Spinosaurus is not correct. And obviously, being from 2006, there's always going to be, it's, it's not going to be up to date. But we can still appreciate the artwork and you know, the design of the book. And yeah, the book does have a lot of your favorite Classic dinosaurs, and here we've got Mongolia, classic Mongolia, so it's really cool. The Velociraptor attacking the Oviraptor. We're not attacking the Proceratops that we always usually see. The Dragontosaurus. All different species grouped together. The early Cretaceous here. It's 
some classic early dinosaurs like Iguanodon. Early meaning like discovered. Is it Iguanodon or Megalosaurus? One of those with it at first. Can't remember off the top of my head. This is the will be mid to late Cretaceous. Got a different back builds. And we're already in 135 pages and we're now to the Stegosaurus family. I wonder if John Sibik's the paleo artist. It looks so familiar to his artwork. There was that scene earlier on. This is a late Cretaceous now. Extinction events, volcanic eruptions, and the meteorite impact, which were the, what caused the extinction. So, a really nice book. Let's see if, the, if it has the artist's name. Okay. Cover Steve Kirk. Oh, Steve Kirk. I've got a yeah, Steve Kirk. So we've got a few different artists, and not not John Sibik. That looks really similar to him, anyway. So this is a great book, and what I really um like about it even though it's a dinosaur book it does um, have some other species in there as well like from the earlier time so please comment below if you've uh, read this one and I'll see you all next time